Hello, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am going to show you how to use standard normal distribution table to find the value of k when the probability is given. In my previous video, we have learned how to find the probability of normal distribution. Since this is the second part of the video, if you are new here, then I suggest you watch the first part of the video before continue this video. You can click on the link on the top right corner or you can also find the link in the description. If this is your first time here and if you want to upgrade your math skill and boost your grade, make sure you subscribe my channel by hitting the subscribe button below so that you won't miss any video in future. If you find that this video is useful, please hit the like button below. So, let's start the lesson right now. In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the normal random variable when the probability is given. Now, let's go to the question. Given that a random variable x is normally distributed with mean 1.8 and standard deviation 0 0.2, find the value of k of the following. So, now... Let's look at the first question. If the probability for x less than k is 0 0.85, so find the value of k. So if we want to use the standard normal distribution table, so first we need to change the x into z. So when we change x into z now the k must be minus with the mean 1.8 and divided by the standard deviation 0 0.2 so after that when we look at here i find that i'm ready to use the table because this is less than so now when we look at the table now we are going to try to find the probability 0 0.85 here now when we look at the table we find that we don't see any 0 0.85 here so in this case what we need to do is we can take a value that is slightly less than 0 0.85 so here we can take 0 0.8485 so now we have 0 0.8485 but we still short of 15 because the probability is 0 0.85 now the other 15 we can take from here now when we look at here same thing we don't see 15 here so in this case we can take the nearest value that is either 14 or 16 because 14 and 16 they are equal near to 15 so now let's say i take 16 so now when i add these two number now i get the probability 0 0.85 so now i can take the z value so the z value is 1.03 Seven. So one point zero three seven. So now when I go back to the questions, so this is the value of z that is one point zero three seven. So now if I want to find the value of k, I use one point zero three seven times 0 0.2 plus 1.8 so now I will get the value of k that is 
Now question number two. Given that the probability of x less than k is equal to 0 0.10, find the value of k. So now, first thing we need to do is we need to change x into z. So when x change into z, k must be minus with mean 1.8 divided by standard deviation 0 0.2. Now we are ready to use the table. Now when we look at the table, we find that we don't see any value 0 0.1. The minimum value is 0 0.5. This is because this table only shows the probability less than a positive value that is greater than 0 0.5. If the probability is less than 0 0.5, means the z is a negative value. So, in order to find the z value where the probability is less than 0 0.5, so we can use the complementary value which is 1 minus 0 0.10, that is 0 0.9. So, we can use 0 0.9 to find the value. So now when we look at the table, we try to find 0 0.9. So when we look at this table, we can see that there is no any exact value of 0 0.9. So what we can do is we can take the value that is slightly less than 0 0.9, that is 0 0.8997. Then 0 0.8997 means we still short of 3. So the tree we can take from here. When we don't see the tree, means we can take the nearest value, either 2 or 4. So now let's say I take 4. So therefore, I can take the value of Z 1.2 8 2. So when we go back to the question, means the Z value is 1.282 but why it is a negative here because the probability is 0 0.1 so when probability is 0 0.1 means the z is a negative value so that's why we need to put the negative here so now to find the value of k, we multiply negative 1.282 with 0 0.2 and plus 1.8. So now we will get the answer k is 1.5436. Now we go to question number 3. Given that probability x greater than k is equal to 0 0.05. First, I'm going to change x to z. So when I change x to z, then k minus 1.8 divided by 0 0.2 equals to 0 0.05. So here, I notice that I'm not ready to use the table because this is greater than. So in order to use the table here, I need to change to less than. So from the previous video, we have learned that to change greater than to less than, I can use 1 minus. So if you haven't watched the first video, so I suggest you watch the video first before coming to this video. So now I change z greater than becomes 1 minus probability z less than k minus 1.8 divided by 0 0.2 equals 0 0.05. So now I rearrange the equation, then I get probability z less than k minus 1.8 divided 0 0.2 is equal to 0 0.95. Now I'm ready to use the table. So when I check the table by using 0 0.95, I find that the z value is 1.645. So from here, 
I get the value of k is equal to 2.129. Now question number four. Given that probability x greater than k is equal to 0 0.80, find the value of k. So first, I'm going to change x into z. So when I change x into z, I'll get probability z greater than k minus 1.8 divided by 0 0.2 equals 0 0.80. So same as the example number 3, I notice that this is greater than, so means I need to change to 1 minus. So, now I get 1 minus probability z less than k minus 1.8 divided by 0 0.2 is 0 0.80. And then now I rearrange the equation, I get probability z less than k minus 1.8 divided 0 0.2 is 0 0.20. Now I'm ready to use the table. But when I check the table by using 0 0.2, I find that I couldn't find 0 0.2 in the table. So same as example number 2, in this case, I have to use 1 minus 0 0.2, that is 0 0.8 to check the table. So when I check the table by using 0 0.8, I find that the value of z is equal to 0 0.842. Here I have to put in the negative because the initial probability is 0 0.2. When the probability is 0 0.2 that is less than 0 0.5, then the z value is a negative value. So therefore, I have to put a negative here. So from here, I get the value of k is 1.6316. Next example, given that probability x greater than 1.9 and less than k is equal to 0 0.028, find the value of k. So first, I'm going to change x into z. Now, after I change to z, then I find that probability z greater than 0 0.5 and less than k minus 1.8 divided by 0 0.2 is equal to 0 0.028. Since there are two inequalities here, so now I'm going to separate the inequalities and I get probability z less than k minus 1.8 divided by 0 0.2 minus probability z less than 0 0.5 equals 0 0.028. Now here I notice that I can get the value of probability z less than 0 0.5 from the table. So from the table I get the value is 0 0.6915. Now I shift the, this value to the right hand side, then I get 0 0.7195. Now I can use the value 0 0.7195 to find the z value. So here I get the z value is 0 0.5815. Then from here, then I get the k is 1.9163. Now let's look at this example. Given that probability x greater than k is less than 0 0.10. So first, I'm going to change x into z. So I get probability z greater than k minus 1.8 divided by 0 0.2 is less than 0 0.10. So now I notice that I'm not ready to use the table because this is greater than. So now I'm going to change this into 1 minus probability z less than k minus 1.8 divided by 0 0.2, it is less than 0 0.10.
So now I need to rearrange the inequality. Then I get probability z less than k minus 1.8 divided by 0 0.2 is greater than 0 0.9. So now I'm ready to use the table. So when I use 0 0.9 to check the table, I find that the z value is 1.282. Then from here, then I get k is greater than 2.0564. Now in this example, probability x less than k is less than 0 0.10. Find the value of k. So first, I'm going to change x into z. Then I get probability z less than k minus 1.8 divided by 0 0.2 is less than 1, 0 0.10. So now I notice that I'm ready to use the table. But here, because the probability here is 0 0.10, which is less than 0 0.5, so means I have to use 1 minus 0 0.10, which is 0 0.902 check the table. So when I use 0 0.90 to check the table, I find that the z value is 1.282. And here I need to add in the negative because when the probability is less than 0 0.5, the z value is a negative. Then from here, I find the value of k is less than 1.5436. So, that's all for now. Do you understand what you learned today? Let me know in the comment section. If you find that this video is useful, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hope to see you in the next video. Bye!